So today, I want to start with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm going to start priming my face with this. I'm going to rub it all over my face. I love this primer because it doesn't make my skin look oily. It just gives it like a healthy sheen. But I'm going to go in with the Professionals by Benefit and just put that on the porous parts of my face. Which is usually like right around here. Because I'm going to be mixing these two. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in Ivory. This is just the regular True Match. And then um, this is in the shade Porcelain. So I'm just going to splatter that all over my face. Now I'm just blending it out with my Morphe M439. I'm going to go on with concealer, but first I'm going to correct my dark circles because I have these gross dark circles. And I'm going to be using the NYX Dark Circle Corrector, and this is their lightest one. This is light pale. And it just, it's like a peachy shade, and that's going to correct the discoloration I have under my eye. I'm just going to put that in the corner. And right under. So now I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm going to be using the Master Conceal by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Fair, obviously. Everything I use is the lightest shade, so I'm just going to take a little bit and dab right over there. And then I'll also do around my nose because I have redness right here and then I'll go in with my real technique sponge and blend that out. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to do a cream contour today. I'm going to use my Anastasia I'm going to use this light, the lightest shade right here, and it is fair, um, and I'm just going to use that on the high points of my face to highlight. And then I'll put it on my forehead and, now it's and my chin. And I'll also put it like directly down my nose. This first shade right here is kind of like a cooler brown tone. And this is Java. And I'm going to be contouring this. So I'm just going to, you want to take it from the top of your ear down. And I only go to the arch of my eyebrow. Like I only go to right here. And because I don't want to bring it too far down. So just the top of your ear and bring it down to about the arch of your eyebrow, so about right here. And then I just flick up the excess, just so I don't drag any down here. So again, just top of your, okay, you can't even see my ear. Just the top of my ear and then down to the arch. And then I'm just gonna go on the hairline. Okay, I'm gonna take my Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki Brush, and this is my favorite for blending out a cream contour. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna like kind of pat and flick up. And then so this line isn't like a really super harsh line. I'm just gonna take like the tip of this and I'm just gonna drag it along the bottom. Patting into the hairline. You don't want to drag it down too much because that'll make you look like you have a smaller forehead. But if you feel like you have a big forehead, then you can always kind of round these out and drag it down a little bit, and that'll create like a shadow. I 
Now that we're done with that, I'm just going to take that same beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend the highlighting parts. Okay, so now that we finished with all the creams, I'm gonna go in with a powder, and this is just my Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and then I'm gonna take the Morphe M164, and this is so good for carving out your nose. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit in there and then tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna start, I start like in the middle and drag it down a little bit, and then I'll work my way up. And then so there's not that harsh line right there, I'm just going to take it and flick it down. So when you put uh, the bronzer down here, it's going to make your nose look short so if you feel like you have a short nose you're not going to want to put bronzer right here okay and then i'm not going to take any more on my brush i'm just going to drag up the excess that's on my brush okay so now i'm going to set the rest of the face and i'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder, and I love this powder. And I'm just gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna make sure there's no creasing going on under my eyes, so I'm just gonna, I don't really wanna, you shouldn't do this with your finger, but just pull your eyelid down a little bit, and then pat right there. And I'll get rid of any creasing that goes on. Now we're gonna bake it. Okay, so now that we're waiting for that to bake, I'm gonna take my Morphe M523 brush and just that same Hula bronzer again, and I'm just gonna go over those contoured areas just to set them, because I, I get pretty oily throughout the day. So, I like to set it, because if not, my creams will move, and I don't want them to. Okay, now we're just gonna wipe away that bake. I could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe 9B blush palette, and I'm just gonna take this middle shade, and I'm gonna take my Morphe E4 for this. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows, and for that, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate. So I am taking a Morphe M158 brush. Got to have a super light hand with this stuff because it's really pigmented. And so I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to draw a little line, flick along the bottom line get that more defined I'm gonna brush that out a little bit and then I'm gonna go to the top I'm just I don't go all the way to right here I start kind of where my hair gets a little thicker so I'm gonna start right here and just flick again from the arch and I'm just gonna drag that down Now that we're done with that, see this line right here? I'm not, I don't want that. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna lay it horizontally and I'm just gonna flick up. 
to kind of diffuse that line. Okay, and see how that kind of diffused it? Now I'm going to brush to create little hair-like strokes. Because I don't want this front to be as dense and like dark as the other, as the other part of my brow. Then I'm just going to brush it out. And there's the brow. Look how much prettier it looks. I already primed my eyes with the concealer that we use. That's usually how I prime my eyes because I feel like that works just as good as a primer. I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Shadow. And I ripped off the bottom, but I think it's this shade is called I Have a Headache. And then I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm just going to put that all over. Okay, now that we prepped our eyes with that shadow, I'm going to go in with Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek, put that in our crease. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. This is the Marabella Eye Blender. So just a little bit of that and then just put it in our crease. We just want a little dimension. Now I'm gonna do a winged liner. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. I'm gonna take that and apply it with the Marabella Angled Brow Brush. I'm just taking a little bit on this angled brush and then I'm gonna create my wing. So you wanna bring your wing from you want to round it with the bottom lash line. So you just want to go straight out to the arch of your brow. So, that'll be our line. And then we're just going to bring that all the way over. And we're going to repeat Okay, so I'm going to take the Barcelona Beach shade that we used before on our crease. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a angled shading brush. And this is the E70 by Sigma. And I'm just going to put that all along my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to take Anastasia's Fudge, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner just to give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to take a L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. This is the, this is Burst Into Bloom, and um, it looks like that. It's just a purple color. And then I'm going to put that on this little pencil brush. I'm going to put that on the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to take another infallible shadow. And this is, what is this called? This is called Always Pearly Pink. And it looks like that. And I'm going to put that right in the center of the tear duct, like the tear duct area. What is this called? I think it's called Hello Lashes Mascara. I'm just going to apply that all over my lashes to prep. I know I'm always wearing drugstore lashes, but these are my favorite lashes ever. Um, these are the Allure Lashes. Okay, guys. Ready to apply. Ah! These bitches landed safe and sound. We're gonna tight line. So I'm using the Marc Jacobs um, gel liner in black. I don't know if it's actually called black, but it's black, so. I'm 
gonna put a little bit on the outer corners of the water line. And then I'm gonna take that same mascara that we used before and put it on the lower lash line. And then we are done. Okay, now for the finishing touch, I'm gonna do lips. And I'm gonna use the NYX Lip Liner in Rose. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in, what is this called? Tea and Cookies. And last but not least, I'm going to spray with my NYX Matte Setting Spray. And that is it. 